Hello there, this is a run through of the moments practice questions. And we're looking at the first question here, part one. The two people apply forces A and B at each end of the lawnmower, which has been carried by the two people. The weight of the lawnmower is 350 newtons. One, explain why the weight of a lawnmower does not act in the middle of the lawnmower, that is 55 centimetres from each end. And so the answer here is the distribution of the mass of the lawnmower is not uniform. So if we had a uniform beam, it was a bar or something, then um, we could say that the centre of gravity would be right in the centre and that the weight, which is the force that can be considered to act from the centre of gravity, would be right in the centre. But of course, with the lawnmower, we've got the motor, etc. Um, at the front, which is going to be heavy, heavier than the rest of it. And so that's going to mean that the centre of gravity is off-centred. Um, but just to get the mark here, we just need to say the mass of the lawnmower is not uniform. Part 2, use the principle of moments to show that the force B is 64 newtons. So to find force B, we need to take moments about A. And we're taking A as our pivot point here. So all our dimensions will need to uh, go to that point. Um, so the clockwise moment is the weight, 350, multiplied by 20, distance to the pivot. Um, and that's going to be equal to the anti-clockwise moment, which is the force B multiplied by the distance to the pivot, perpendicular distance to the pivot, which is going to be 110 centimetres. So we've got 20 times 350 for the clockwise is equal to B times 110 for the anti-clockwise moments. And then solving that for B, we get B equals 63.6 uh, newtons. Part 3, determine the force at A. And so we know the system is in equilibrium. So the sum of the vertical forces acting must equal zero. Um, what that really means is that you know, forces down must equal forces up in total. And we could write it as um, uh, you know, forces up A plus B. Um, must equal the weight and we're trying to find A so A is going to be equal to weight minus force B which is 350 minus uh, 63.6 or we could use 64 there um, and we get 286.4 newtons as the answer part 2 state and explain what happens to forces A and B if the person that applies force B moves his hand along the handle towards the middle of the lawnmower, two marks. So the person who applies the force at B is now moving uh, their hand along, so the force is going to be applied more closely to the pivot. Um, that distance there is reducing, and they've got to apply the same turning moment because they're balancing the moment of the, uh, the weight force. And so in order to produce the same moment, if the distance is shorter, the force that they apply at B would have to increase. So the force at B has to increase. And what that means is that the force uh, exerted upwards at A has to decrease. So that overall, FA plus FB equals the weight. So overall, we're still maintaining equilibrium where the sum of the upward forces equals the weight acting downwards. And just checking the mark scheme for that question. Um, so we said that um, uh, B needs a greater force if the distance um, is decreasing in order to produce the same moment. That was our first mark. And then we said that because it's in equilibrium, um, if B is increasing, then A must go down so that when they're added together they uh, give you the weight and the system maintains equilibrium. So that was our two marks there for that question. So on to the next question which is a kitchen cupboard. We're given a diagram there. 
showing a kitchen cupboard securely mounted to a vertical wall. The cupboard rests on support at A. And the first part of this question is to state the principle of moments. And this is usually a two mark question. And to get both of the marks here, we need to say that in equilibrium, which is a mark, the sum of the clockwise moments about a point equals the sum of the anti-clockwise moments about that same point for the second mark. So quite often students will forget to include the term equilibrium there. So part two, the direction of the force F provided by the screw on the cupboard is horizontal as shown in the diagram. So we are looking at um, this force F here, which is the screw pushing the uh, into the wall there. Um, take moments about A and determine the value of force F. And so we can apply the principle of moments and we can say that um, clockwise moments is, uh, the clockwise moment is 200 newtons. That's the weight here multiplied by the distance which is 12 centimeters it's acting around this point here so that is a clockwise moment it's turning clockwise about about the pivot point a is equal to this is equal to the anti-clockwise moment which is f multiplied by the distance to the pivot the perpendicular distance to the pivot which is that distance there which is 75 and then if we uh, just solve this for f we get 200 times 12 over 75 um, and that's equal to 32 newtons so the answer is f equals 32 newtons and well done for completing these questions